Yo, it's your boy Pinoy with the uh, Caps Recaps with Caps and Company, and I'm joined here by Yanka. So, of, of course, it's a po- disappointing series against Rogue. Mm. Um, what went wrong in the series? Yeah, that's a fantastic question, Penis. Thank you for asking. So, what went wrong this game? Well, I'm sure you can imagine my surprise when I look to my right and I see my top laner checking Azeroth Encyclopedia as he gets ganked for the fifth time in a row. Also. I, I don't know. I think he's been watching a little too much LS because he played Karma again today. Like, even though he knows we cannot play with this champ, but uh, this whole LS thing is getting ridiculous if you ask me. The other day, I watched Wonder grab bags of ice and put them on top of his monitor, and then he looks me dead in the eyes and goes, I'm freezing. I, I wanted to slap the shit out of him, I swear to God. And Mickey, you were put on brown duty, unfortunately. Like, oh, and look- another thing, actually. I think my mid laner wants to go pro in Wild Rift, which honestly is a huge shock to me. Uh, at least that's the only explanation I could think of for what I witnessed today. And then he proceeds to pick Silas in the elimination game. Now, the only problem I have with that is that it's just that no one thought to inform me that we were win trading, you know? Because otherwise I could have just picked Trundle. And uh, we all know how that would have gone. Yeah. And the most important question, like. Hold up, can I just ask you? Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something now? Where's our AD carry? Huh? Where is he? Tell me. He's invisible. Just like he was when he picked Jin. Fucking dog shit champion. Mickey, you played well. I guess that's how it works. <laughs> um, we can say that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we just hope we'll have a better summer split. I think we all realize that we can, we can do better than this. Sure. For sure. Oh, and don't even get me started on grabs, by the way. I have some words for him. And with those words, I will form sentences, and I will form these sentences with the intent of hurting his feelings. That'll show him. Obviously, I'm just joking, but Yankos was extremely frustrated after the loss. Here's the real interview. Yo, it's your boy, Pinoy, with uh, Caps Recaps with Caps and Company. And I'm joined here by Yankos. So, of of course, it's a disappointing series against Rogue. Um, What went wrong in the series? Um, well, I mean, I don't think that the series went necessarily wrong. I think it was just like how we prepared for like the whole playoffs. And I guess throughout the split, we were slacking a lot. I felt like, you know, streaming a lot, going home often, not playing a lot of league and just, yeah, not doing stuff. So I think that uh, we just lost because we were the worst team, right? For sure. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, sucks. So obviously this is not a normal scenery. Like uh, it's been like, five splits since uh, we lost as G2. Uh, so what did you feel like going into the series caps? Uh, um, so I mean, definitely like some of our scrims were not going great, but uh, we still felt like we could take it. Obviously we won like a lot of splits in a row. So we still felt like on stage we could show up a good performance. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to take it home this time, but hopefully next split. <laughs> and Miki, you were put on brown duty, unfortunately. Like we would really like to see you more on a flashy champ. So why did Grabs decide to give you Brahm in the potentially deciding game? Um, well, Brom just worked really well in scrims, especially when people run into you. Brom is very good at front-to-back team fights, and that's what we felt like was going to go down in that game. Um, and yeah, you know, white mid once. <laughs> um, don't be ashamed of being bad, be ashamed of staying bad. Yeah. And the most important question, like, Wunda, we saw you this week put so many games into it, only to just being put on karma. What is that all about? It's fucking graphs, man. <laughs> fucking graphs. Is this a grabs difference? There's not much else to say. I mean, um, yeah, and Miki being put on Braum, it's just a bad combo altogether. So the expectations for Summer is that if you play a lot of games, right, as you probably will, um, you will be put more on carry champs, or what do you expect of yourself going into Summer? Um, carry champs for sure, yeah. I mean, uh, of course, someone has to win the trophy, right? <laughs> and uh, today, I mean, Miki X and Braum just didn't cut it, so I will have to carry him next time. So let's Take back to the um, summer split, right? Uh, I know there was a lot of memes about your Nidalee. Why didn't we see it in the playoffs at all? Like, were the memes just too hard for you? Yeah, I asked myself the same question, actually. I don't know why I played so many, like, useless champions and, like, not being able to do anything. And at least I could play Nidalee, throw some spears. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we decided that the, the meta was the way it was. So this is the champs we played, like, Karma bot and then Karma top. Because he didn't work bot, so he just put it top. <laughs> and <laughs> we really wanted to make the Karma work, it seems like. But, yeah, basically, um, I mean, we as a team, of course, like, not, uh, even though I hate grabs, right? We as a team, we had, like, a bad read on the meta. And I felt like no draft today. Um, we were happy with. I guess the first draft they gave us a lot of OP champs, so made the first draft. But except for that, we were always like 
thinking that maybe oh maybe this draft is bad because of this because of this because of that so if we are not happy with any draft then we can't win a game right and i think that uh, hopefully next year or <laughs> next <laughs> next split <laughs> in summer split we can um just play more league and think about league more and have like more team meetings where we yeah, don't stream, don't play all the games, don't go home and we just kind of discuss the game, how it is. That way maybe we can enter playoffs already stronger and not figure out the patch in playoffs, especially the last week where we yeah are just getting kind of outplayed and outdrafted and outdone and outworked and sucks. I don't know. And then, what should the fans' expectations be for like summer split? What what is your like last words uh, going out of this interview? Um, well, I think everyone should give his last words because it would be awkward if I'm the only okay, one doing it. But basic, basically, yeah. uh, I'm very sorry, or like I'm not really sorry because I still felt like we try. I mean, okay, honestly, I'm sorry. We didn't try our best. Like we really didn't. Like we can't say we did because we didn't. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry that we were slacking this this split, and I'm not surprised that we lost because we played really really bad. And yeah, I mean, we will try to give more in summer split. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks, right? I think um, missing out on MSI, we are currently the champions, so yeah. we can't defend that throw uh, throne. Um, yeah, no one can take it away from us. Though. <laughs> I yes. guess that's how it works. <laughs> um, we can say that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we just hope we will have a better summer split. I think we all realize that we can we can do better than this. Sure. For sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, next split for sure better. Hopefully for playoffs, maybe there's like, you know, we play on stage with the crowd, just like we do in NA, for example. And, uh, you know, we can't do it without you guys. So, you know, it's summer we got it <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would just want to echo what Miku said. I mean, on stage with a lot of fans screaming our names. I mean, that's going to be you guys next split. And, uh, Hopefully you're gonna be us as well if we make it to playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, remember to like cheer the guys up. You know, like they're not used to losing to LEC teams in the final or the, like the lower bracket final, whatever it's called. And without further ado, I'm turning out here and we're turning off the tuning off from the Caps recaps with Caps and Company by Pinoy. So see you guys. Back to you. Back to you.